Hey, what's going on guys? This is Adam from GHL Mastery and I have a new high level feature drop to tell you about. I'm gonna show you it and then I'm gonna show you how to get it in your own account and show you how to set it up. So this feature drop literally just came. I think I got the announcement on Facebook about an hour ago. So I'm trying to be one of the first to drop this. This is video testimonial reviews built directly into high level. So a super powerful way to increase your social proof uh, for yourselves and for your clients. So. Let's dive in. I'm first going to show you what it does, and then I'm going to show you exactly how to set it up. So stay tuned. Let's dive right in. Okay, so once you've got a video review set up, you're going to get a custom link just like you get with any Google reviews or anything of that nature. You're going to get your own custom link for your video collectors, which will send as a SMS or an email or both. Um, and that's going to open up to a page that looks just like this. Now I've done a little bit of customization, which I'll show you in a little minute in a little second. Um, but now you can send this to your clients and they can get a quick little overview of what it is. And then they can click, let's go. You can set up several different questions that you want to add asking people. I'm going to comment on this in a little bit here and show you why I don't necessarily love this, but we're going to go through it anyway. So they can go and they can click record. They're going to have to give access to their cameras and things of that nature, microphones, and then they can go ahead and hit record. So it's going to give them a little countdown. And we're just going to say a quick recording and why we love GHL mastery so much. Um, and then we're going to hit stop. It's going to then process and then they can watch their video back after it's done processing and see if they like it. So they can go ahead and hit play. And we're just going to say a quick recording and why we love GHL Mastery so much. And then they're going to co-confirm upload. Now they're going to go to question two. And then they're going to do the same thing. And then we're going to do the countdown again. We're going to do a quick recording. And we're going to talk about, you know, now that they've joined this program, what's the big, what's been the biggest win for their business, blah, 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 blah. They're going to hit stop. They're going to process it again. and confirm their upload and then they're going to go to the next question they're going to record their next video you can have a maximum currently of three questions that you have asked on your system so i obviously set this up the first time with a maximum of three i'm going to show you in a little bit why i don't necessarily love this but we're going to go ahead and hit stop it's going to process and then at the end of it what we're going to be doing is we're going to be plugging in our contact information so that we know exactly who uploaded this video. So I'm just gonna put my information in here. And we're gonna go ahead and hit submit. And it's gonna say, all done, there you go, correct, blah, blah, blah. You're done, thanks for your response. This can all be customized. So that is how this entire system works. So think about it as instead of getting Google reviews, or maybe you've already gotten a Google review, and instead of getting a Google review and doing nothing else, you can now send them a video review that you can now post on your website. So that's the video widget and the review testimonial process. So now let's go into how the heck do you set this up for yourself? Right now, this is a feature that is in labs. So in order to get into this, you need to go to your agency settings down here, scroll down until you get to labs. And once you're in labs, you need to click instead of agency, you're going to go to sub account. Now, right now it's right up at the very top. So you can go over here, you can go activate feature. Uh, when you do this, you have to understand that you cannot turn it off. So make sure that you don't enable it necessarily for every single account. You can come up here and you can search for your own account, which I've already done. Um, and you can select which accounts you want these, this feature available in. If you don't really care and you want all of your customers to have access to it, you can just select all your sub accounts and go right ahead. It is going to be live in 61 days as of the time of this recording. So if you're watching this in 61 days from now, this is already live. So let's go into the sub account and show you where to find all of this stuff. So if you go down into the reputation section of your sub account, you will now be able to see video testimonials. Now, when I loaded this in from labs, it took probably five minutes before I was actually able to see it, but that's okay. So you're going to go to the video testimonials section. And now what you need to do is you need to create a collector. So we're going to go over here and we're going to click create collector. And this is where you can start to customize that entire page that we just saw. So by default, it's going to use the logo of the business, the contact information, and so on and so forth. So you can come in here and you can change all of this. And the previous one, I changed this to, we love your feedback on GHL Mastery, right? Something along those lines. 
spokesperson, you can either turn this on or off. I turned it on and I went and I grabbed one of my pictures that I've got down here. We're going to go ahead and open that up. And that's going to put me right there. And you can change your contact information and things of that nature. And then you can say how it works, right? Why record a video with us and what we're looking to do here. Share your thoughts in a quick video. So now we can go ahead and give this template a name. And I'm just going to go GHL demo. And we're going to hit save. All right, so next up, you go to the questions page. So you can add, like I said, up to three questions that you want them to answer and respond to. So you can go ahead and add, add them here. I'm going to delete this one and I'm just going to use one. Tell us your experience. I'm not going to do anything fancy for this video, uh, but you can just have them, you know, a really brief explanation of what you'd like them to do. This stuff right here, I haven't found a place to edit these things. Um, so that is what it is for now. Then you can go to your attributions page, which is just asking them for their contact information so they know who did that video recording. And then you've got the thank you page, which is, you know, thank you. We appreciate you doing this. Now, the other thing that you guys can do here, which is pretty awesome, is update the look and the feel of this entire widget. So obviously our colors are blue and black, and I wanted to use our actual logo here. So I went into logos and I grabbed the light mode logo because everything we do is dark mode. So I came into here, changed the background color to black, and I'm going to change the text color to white because it just looks better. And that's pretty much all I did for this widget here. And then I was able to hit save. That's, that's basically it. You've now got this widget set up and ready to go. So now how do you use it? Well, you use it by copying, hitting this link right here. You select a contact from here, and then you select whether or not you want to send an email, an SMS, or WhatsApp for this feature right here. And then you can go in and you can edit your default emails. You can edit your default SMS templates and things of that nature and upload a photo or a logo or a picture that's going to go out with the SMS. Um, and then you literally just send it just like you would send a natural review request. Now I did look into a couple of things, obviously with brand new uh, labs features, there's nothing available for you yet inside of workflows, but I can see that coming very, very soon. Now I said that I was going to address this, why I would not add three questions to my video review testimonial page. And I'm going to show you this right now. So this is now showing all of the responses that we have received so far. What I don't like about this is that it's broken these down into individual videos. So there's not just one stitched together video of the entire experience, which can come across as a little bit weird because once you start to put this on your widget settings, you have the same person's video three times or however many questions you've got. Um, let's go and actually view responses here. So these are the three videos that I recorded and you can kind of come down here. You can view the details of the recording. It's going to show you all three of them and you do have the ability if you want to, to download all three of these videos like this, and then you can go and put them into your own video editor um, stitch them together and then post them somewhere else. So that's one reason why you might want to have the multiple questions. I for one, and just do it in one shot and that's good enough for me. So I probably wouldn't add three questions. And then the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is how you can actually display these on your website. If you come over here and you click into widgets, you can go and create a new widget. And you're going to create the widget for video testimonials. So now you've got all of these options for you to widget type list view, grid, carousel, slider, columns. You can show the max number of reviews that you want to show and display. And then your override link, it would be like, hey, if you want to send us a new, if you want to drop a video, you can click this link and go straight through into our system here. You can customize the way that this looks. You can change the heading. You can change the description. Um, you can come in here and you can customize all the colors. I'm always a dark mode guy, so I would just click dark mode. And there you go. And then you can come into your settings and copy the code and embed that on your website. So pretty handy feature for getting new reviews into your funnels or websites automatically without having to do any sort of custom code or using a bunch of video elements. This can now be done just like Google reviews, but instead using video reviews. So I hope that video was helpful for you guys. Just go around, play with it, 
add it to some of your sub accounts, get a good feel for it. But I can see this being a super handy feature for the high level ecosystem moving forward. So if you found value in this video, please like subscribe, do all of the things because that helps this type of content get to more people that are trying to learn just like you are. We'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.